Welcome back. We're going to the movies. What are we gonna see? Oh, well, you'll find out. Conjura. Ooh. Oh, Wanna uh, play? Oh man. Wanna p Russian, Russian attack? Russian attack. I never. Played. You're not allowed to play any of these games. By the way, Russian Attack, a sequel for Russian Tech was made, and it was made by Vatra Games, which are the people who are making Downpour right now. Oh, man. Huh. Always enjoyed the theater. It occurs to me that the music in this area, and that was in, I think, the last video, too, kind of reminds me of the underwater level in Mario 64. <laughs> it reminds me of Twin Peaks. That's what I said <laughs> last video. Yeah. It does a little bit. It's just this particular bass line, I think. Yeah. Just the same three machines all over the place. By the way, Vatra Games, the only two things on their Wikipedia page, Silent Hill Downpour, and that sequel for Russian Attack. Get the action figure. Look, it's the easiest crane game in the history of civilization. I don't think don't I've ever seen a crane game this empty. Don't fuck it up. Oh no, I'm gonna fuck- oh no. There's no way to fuck it up. Not, not that I'm asking for an actual crane game in this game. But I wouldn't mind a challenge. So what, you just uh, press each button once, and you, you win? You press each button once. Okay. And we got a Franken-man. Frankenstein, eh? Frankenschlong. Frankenschlong. Yeah. That mustache is so great. Ridicula. So, they've got a bootleg movie phone, and we're gonna call it... And I'm gonna draw it, because the movies are pretty... Pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know if they're meant to be jokes or not. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Cinephone. Take a listen to the forthcoming features in your area. Dearest Mother. Dearest mother, she was the perfect mother, in search of the perfect opportunity to shine. You've been the best mom. Now it's your turn to live your life. This heartwarming tale will lift the spirits of families everywhere, with a story of love and strength in the face of adversity. Rated PG-13. The Dancer. She had a body, and she needed to use it. Sweat, tears, lipstick. The way you dance, it's like you want to screw everyone in the audience. You wish. Dancing is better than sex. You've never slept with me. You've never danced with me. Audiences across America are sweating in the theaters watching The Dancer. One of the hottest movies ever to be screened in public theaters. The Dancer is this week's major movie turn-on. Rated R. Good poison. After the first taste, you're hooked. It's like nothing you've ever tried before. It's zero to 60 in a second. From an early age, Stevie Moss found himself surrounded by bad influences. Go on, Stevie. Let's get high, then get nasty. And he made the most of them. A tale of our times, a story about being bad and getting away with it. Audiences across America are getting buzzed on good poison. Rated R. Together forever. True love against all odds. Two star-crossed lovers fight to be together. Their passion, their story. Kiss me. Kiss me like it's the first taste you've ever tasted. Your lips are all I know. Movie audiences across America have taken this couple to their hearts. A romance for our times. Together forever. Rated PG-13. <laughs> Can we lube her up? That's the only Loop thing I read off of that page, but... That's, I like that's the one that said, fuck you, why? <laughs> <laughs> Just like to point out that drinks are as much as popcorn here. Wow. Which is wow. Well, that's that isn't too inaccurate. That no. better be a gallon of soda. 
I guess it's true. You get like a big thing of soda. It's like four bucks. You get yeah, like the small you popcorn, also four dollars. Quarter and way into the movie. But the big one and the big one were the same. That's a little bit crazy. So here's the poster for Together Forever, the Pyramid Head oh. fan fiction, starring Alan Rod and Gina Larivis. And the best part about Together Forever is probably its tagline: "Lorem ipsum doloret." <laughs> and nice. Yeah, don't. Yeah, just send that. It's Good. done. Put it in the game. They'll never know it's dummy type. Maybe it was on purpose. You what don't know. What does it mean? In a game where the main objective is to look That's at stats. stuff, <laughs> the main objective is to look at stuff in this game. Why would you fuck up something like that and put dummy oh, man, type? Harry, he knows a lot about 1080p high def projectors. Harry's got a lot of interests, all right. Mm -hmm. I just increased my uh, my LPPI because I know all the stats and tech stuff now. Oh man. So we luck down in here. Usually there's a horrible noise in here. Oh? See the flickering? It's supposed to be a choo-choo train right now. It's supposed to be like... <laughs> like usual. It didn't play for some reason? Sometimes it doesn't play. We got oh, really lucky. Okay. It sounds like hell usually. Ah. <sighs> choo-choo. <gasps> oh my god. I mean, I remember that thing. Oh, I don't remember that. I think it's better without the choo-choo train. <laughs> ah, no choo-choo trains. <laughs> you stop and, like, fill for some popcorn or something. I'm wandering around for, like, a solid day? Nobody noticed my outfit just changed, because that was a different run. <laughs> so Dolly is still around. It's a good it's a good sign that we got the family PI uh, message uh, because we have the uh, sex PI Dahlia, but we've been aiming for family PI this whole time, so mm. finally it seems to be taken hold. Took a while. We get to see her sometime soon because I'd love to know what happened with that. Because last we know, she was frozen underwater. Yeah. I don't know. That's a well, you're just gonna have to keep watching the LP. Harry, I'm not go, gonna tell go. you what's gonna happen. It's not like I'm gonna skip it. I can't skip it. Harry, ahead. go back in there and get some of the butter. It's not like I get to skip to where she's gonna I'm be the next. The person who asks what's gonna happen during a movie is just like, shh. Yeah, it's nothing to say about the lingerie sign. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Look at that. The little pillows have faces on them. Diamonds and rust. What? It's the shittiest store ever. Well, I guess because they do antiques. Uh, antiques I can afford too. Golly. Rusty Rust antiques. Good. Clever, but yeah, you wouldn't want rusty anything. This is a, that was a skillful tag because it was the backwards version of this. They just reversed mm. texture. <laughs> Denim destination. Look at those huge Look at <laughs> Oh boy. Oh man. You don't want to call this. It's boring. I'm not going to. Good. <laughs> I'm helping you guys. Thank you. Uh, what's that? Oh! Oh my goodness! It's a sleeping ice ghost. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> oh. By the way, you can zoom in on the phone. Never any real purpose to do that. Hello, dead dog. Besides looking at the really shitty textures on this dead dog. <laughs> we hit something. Our own dog. Oh, shit. What is it? It's... Oh, shit. What do we tell her? Oh, shit! I guess they did hit their own dog. Wow. Yeah. Awful. Remember in the pet the pet store? Yeah, I know it's a continuation. It's just, it's such a weird thing. Like, how would you have hit your own dog? I, I don't know. <laughs> I wondered yeah, this. We're so totally busted. <laughs> Dad's gonna have our hides. That dog knew we were having sex. It's me. Where are you? The Outside. dog's dead. The job Where are is you done. Calling? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just hit a dog with the car. I literally dog? picked up the yes. car and hit the dog with it. <laughs> yeah. It was like that one, that one movie where they fight with the motorcycles, like their swords. I told you, <laughs> torque. If we hadn't no. been arguing, I would have. Kind of. I think we hit something. You can't drive and talk. I suppose that would be asking too much. Oh, shit. What now? We hit a dog. 
A dog? No. Not just any dog. It was an Iditarod race. <laughs> Chris, why would you stress a dog there? Because voice acting direction. You couldn't even kill two dogs, you worthless <laughs> shit husband. <laughs> right? I'm not quite sure what that was supposed to be implying. <laughs> I, I get, yeah, I guess that's what she meant, and that's what the emphasis was for. You piece of shit husband, you couldn't even kill multiple dogs. If you fuck up, you might as well fuck up better. Aww. Oh. So this is Chapman's version of Green Lion Antiques, except it's a pawn shop now. This was an important place in Silent Hill 1. Mm. <gasps> There's a sword! Get the sword, Harry, and fight with, with it. Fight with no. it? There's different versions of it. That looks like it's gonna be a bar. And uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure no uh, pawn shop would have a window like this. Just yeah. Furthering the fact that it looks like a like a hustlers club. <laughs> yeah. And it can also be kind of more like a head shop, or I don't even. This doesn't make sense either because there's like illegal stuff here. There's like a, a alcohol distillery. <laughs> or a meth lab. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> it's a hookah. And then... Hookah, yeah. No, that thing with the tubes. And yeah. I guess it's a distillery. Might be a meth yes. thing. Either way, I think you're not supposed to sell distillery. I don't know. To be fair, you're not supposed to sell bongs either, but you can call them water pipes and they're all over the place in all the convenience stores yeah. around here. What? Oh my they god. They Where? advertise them on the radio here all the time at Two Guys in a Grow Shop. <laughs> that's what- that's literally what it's called. That's pretty great. <laughs> so we are actually at the place we've been trying to get to for half the game, and there's a peacock. Peacock? Oh my god, that's not a peacock anymore. Has to do with family PI. And this is a cougar, I guess? Mountain lion? Same thing. And it's sexy, it's a sexy, sexy mountain lion. <laughs> and here's Dodo! <laughs> and Dodos are raging alcoholics, as we all know. <laughs> and that's why they went extinct. They were on the sauce all the time. Drank themselves into the grave. I guess so. And they drove and did irresponsible things. <gasps> and that's a strange, you know, thing to pawn. <laughs> Probably did not get nearly the amount of money it's worth. I'll give you 70, that's the absolute best I can do. Ugh. Fine. <laughs> What? I still declare that UFO man is the, s the only scary thing in this game. Remember last time he was talking about how his wife doesn't believe him and he thinks mm -hmm. that she's one oh. of them, and now he's locked her in the cellar. Huh. Yep, that's going well for him. Don't know what half these textures are. <laughs> stuff. Things. Fun, fun stuff. Hmm. This is just to stall for time. Pad the video game out. What? <laughs> oh. I know what wing nuts do. <laughs> There's a little Caesars near here that has that same table, turntable thing. Oh, really? They get uh -oh. robbed so much that you literally have to put the money on it, they spin it around, then you put the pizza on it and spin uh, it back around. That's incredibly that's, sad, man. That's terrible. Yep. yep. Speaking of pizza, this guy's holding a little pizza. Pizza? <laughs> Your favorite. Pizza. Your absolute favorite. <laughs> It is. I just, I just upped my pizza pi. Harry likes some pizza. There's a ring just, there's a ring just floating in there. Okay. It's just it's levitating. Not, it's not a. Okay, I was just gonna say. Oh, the snake eating its tail. Ouroboros. Ouroboros. It's two snakes, I guess, because there's two heads there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ouroboros was one of the. Like religious artifacts that you get in Silent Hill One at the end when you're in nowhere. So we're finally at our destination. We are here. This is where we allegedly live. Oh no! Our name's on the door. It's getting all weird. It is. Shit's getting real. It's real now. Shit is getting real. Tukey's here and everything. Family reunion. I, to <laughs> I told you. There's some sort of weird uh, stuff going on with Tukey. Tukey's the puppet master. I told you. <laughs> Been telling you all along. Got all the strings connected to his colorful beak. I'm your buddy, Tukey. <laughs> Tukey, my only friend. Kill yourself, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a picture. It's not the girl. Uh. Cheryl? Sweetie, is that you? You've been gone for so long, I started to worry. 
Can you get my rag on a stick? I need a bath. <laughs> Who the hell ah. are you? <laughs> Harry? How do you know me? He said Where's with a Cheryl? creepy Still smile. Lighthouse, <laughs> lighthouse? What are you doing? It literally is Alan Wake now. Looking for Cheryl. <laughs> Isn't this my house? Who are you? You look really good. Who are you? That would be a better game, I think. Is so um, Harry's books night. coming to life? Oh man. <laughs> I would play that game. And in health. You're my wife. Uh, oh come on. A little more development there, please. So I know what's happening. Oh, she's my wife. I guess I care for her now. <laughs> blocked by the other world again. It's like any time anything maybe interesting is about to happen, or at least has grabbed my attention, and it's like, no, Ice World time! Well, we got a wife now. Guess we'll find out what happens next time. Well, she's an ice wife. Ice wife. She's so cold. Never puts out. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I'm your buggy Tuki. Kill yourself, Harry. <laughs>